Hello, beautiful family in Jesus Christ. It's Stephen here, 13th of April in the year 2022. And if you are new to this channel, I am a preacher of the gospel of Jesus Christ because it's the only way anybody's going to be saved and it's the only way anybody's going to make it to heaven. So please listen to me. The Bible tells us that we all have sinned, all of us, me included, all of us have sinned. The Bible says that we all fall short of the glory of God and that the wages of sin is death. But the free gift of God, which God wants to give you, is everlasting life through Jesus Christ our Lord for everybody that believes no matter what you have done I just repeat myself it doesn't matter what you have done because Jesus Christ has promised that he will not turn never turn anybody away who comes to him in truth all God is asking of you for your salvation is that you believe the gospel the gospel is that Jesus shed his blood on the cross for the forgiveness of our lifetime of sin and he was buried and he was resurrected on the third day according to the scriptures and if you confess Jesus as Lord and you believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead you will be saved but Jesus said except you repent and believe then you will all perish <laughs> He started looking at little dog's cute. So, unless you repent, change your mind and believe, you will perish. That's what Jesus said. Perish, that means you'll land in hell. Jesus talked a lot about hell. He said it's a place of outer darkness. This is for eternity, for all who reject the free gift of God, which is everlasting life through Jesus Christ our Lord. So, Hell is a place of outer darkness where there is weeping and wailing, where there is gnashing of teeth, where the worm never dies and the fire never goes out. And all who reject the Lord Jesus will find themselves there. And that's why I go on the streets and preach. Because I don't... God doesn't want anybody... God doesn't want anybody to... Uh, perish in outer darkness forever and ever God God wants all to be saved like his word says God wants all to be saved and he wants none to perish and it's only only by God's grace are we saved through our faith in what Jesus did for us on the cross and it's not of ourselves it is the free gift of God it's not by works it's not of works lest any man should boast so you can't earn it and um, there's nothing you can do to work for it it's a free gift which God wants to give everyone and it's down to the people to either accept or reject the free gift of God which is everlasting life through Jesus Christ our Lord now Myself, personally, I can't, I can't understand why anybody would say no to such an offer. I mean, I mean, the, the truth of the matter is, it's, there's a matter of heaven and hell. So why would anybody say, uh, nah, I don't want everlasting life in the most beautiful place that you can imagine called paradise? Nah, nah, I'll take my chance and, and take my gamble and we'll see so that they only find out how real hell is when they land there um, don't be one of those people that take the gamble that take the gamble that Jesus isn't who he says he is he says I am the way I am the truth and I am the life and no man comes to the Father God but by me so turn to him if you haven't please already because time is running out um, it could be that Jesus Christ comes today because uh, we, we as Christians, we are all waiting and watching 
waiting for our blessed hope and glorious appearing of the great God and our Saviour, Jesus Christ, who will descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trumpet of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first, and then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord Jesus in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord Jesus in the rapture. Don't be left behind because you took your chance, because you rejected the love of the truth, Jesus, and his free gift of everlasting life. Don't be left behind. This is urgent. This is, this is, this is, um, this is critical mass because Jesus Christ is about to come. So if you haven't laid hold of your salvation and your eternal security by believing the gospel, please do so now and don't hesitate any longer. Don't, don't think about it and say, I'll do it later because later might not come. Do it now. Don't hesitate any longer because Jesus Christ is coming and then this world will be turned upside down during the great tribulation apocalypse. Um, with seven years when God will pour out his wrath and his judgments upon this world which uh, has turned its back on him. A world that refuses to change their mind, repent and believe. Instead, they prefer lies. You know, the, the world is saying, feed us lies. Don't tell us the truth. Feed us lies instead. Um, and God shall send them strong delusion that they should believe a lie, that they might all be damned which believe not the truth, but had pleasure in unrighteousness. So... Please, if you haven't laid hold of salvation, I'm, this, is, this is so important. Don't take the chance. The Bible says that the Lord himself shall take us out of this world and up into heaven. You don't want to be left behind for what's coming upon this world because it's bad. It's very, very bad. Um, so terrible it's going to be that if God didn't shorten the days of the great tribulation, then no flesh would survive. Not one man would be left if God didn't shorten the days of the Great Tribulation. So I came down here. This, this is where this is where I come for a, a, a run, a, a run down, and then a run up. But it um, looks like the waves are going to be stopping me from walking across. I don't know. Oh, well, there seems to be some people down there. But maybe I'll be all right. But I love you all. Jesus is coming. I'm expecting him at any second now. This is why it's so important. If you haven't believed, get on board the Ark of Salvation now. Don't wait until um, you witness all these people vanish in the rapture when Jesus takes us up to heaven. Don't wait until then. Get on board the Ark now. You will still be able to be saved if you witness a great vanishing of people but you must not take the mark of the beast because during the apocalypse this one world leader will come on the world stage with a false peace and he will he will say he will say that he is god he will say i am the christ and he will deceive many and many will take his mark 666 the mark of the beast in the right hand or in the forehead Nobody will be able to buy or sell without the mark, but all who take the mark will be cast into the lake of fire, which is the second death. So, please, if you haven't believed on Jesus, get on board now. You don't want to be here for what's coming up on this world, upon this Christ-rejecting world. And to be honest, guys, when I go out to preach, I can see that many of many have already chosen to take their side uh, and many have chosen to reject the truth 
and it seems not just a minority but the majority that's what and that's frightening it's frightening and uh oh heck my gosh uh it's frightening and uh ooh, slippy on here oh flipping it get down off there Bloody neck and then he's then he slipped into the sea then guys <laughs> that was close so, gonna have to be a bit more careful just trying to give you some close-ups of the waves so yeah the tribulation is coming it's going to be horrendous nobody wants to be here for what is coming but there will be many there will be many the majority unfortunately because they haven't believed the truth or, or, or nobody's told them the truth and uh, you think about it in this country they've taken Christianity out of the schools because when I was at school we had to learn it we had to learn it whether we liked it or not and it was it was called religious education and it was based solely on the Bible and nothing else no other of these fake religions just the Bible and uh, they've taken it out of school since and instead they're teaching teaching uh, things they ought not to teach and you know what I mean I, I've got to be careful what I say because of this, this uh, censored platform but um, you know what they're teaching our kids you know the Baphomet the, the trans agenda you know what I'm saying and they're teaching our kids that you know what I'm really glad that I've got not I've not got kids because there's no way I would allow any any teacher to teach my children things uh, which are not true lies I would not I would not allow my children to to, to go to school I teach at home teach them and even now with home teaching that this I think they're trying to get a law passed so they so that you have to include this uh, LGBT teaching uh, if you homeschool your children I'm not too sure you guys in the States might know anyway guys um, I was feeling a bit depressed earlier on this morning well, well I have been feeling depressed all day to be honest so this is why I came for a walk. I thought I'll go for a walk and I'll do you guys a video. And surely doing that will help me and, and help you as well. So if you're feeling depressed and you feel anxious and stuff, uh, well, I can relate to that because I get, I get it myself. Um, I do. I, I believe... I believe wicked spirits attack us. Wicked spirits that specialise in depressing us. Um, you know, trying to tell us that there's no hope. But they're liars. And they're all under the, the father of lies. Satan himself. And um, the devil cannot speak a word of truth. Because there's no truth in him. So he tries to get us to convince us that what he's saying is true when he's a liar and the Lord rebuke you Satan in Jesus name I'm, I'm not talking to you guys huh? I'm talking to Satan get away from me in the name of Jesus Christ but guys uh, we need to put on the whole armor of God I'm sorry I, I've noticed in some of my videos that you don't catch my whole face and you only catch half my face I'll try to amend that it's just difficult when you're walking. So, but I thought I'd first come down to the sea. I was hoping it was going to be quiet and peaceful like the atmosphere is in the air, but it's, it's not. It's quite... Well, it is, really. It's just quite... Uh, well, wet. Wet if you go down that, near those walls. You could get wet. You, 
waves are tossing and stuff. Uh, anyway, guys, I just thought I'd come here, yes, and do you a video, quote a psalm, just really just show my face to you guys and remind you that I love you, remind you that Jesus Christ loves you, and he's never going to leave you, he's never going to forsake you. I can just see the Lord Jesus hanging on right now for that last person to get saved who is appointed for salvation before the great tribulation and then zap we go up zoom we go up and uh, and then this world darkness will come down upon this world darkness and evil and uh, the Antichrist will position himself, say that he is Christ, and the world's going to be turned upside down. I mean, it's more severe than we can actually imagine. And that's why we're still here, because God, God loves us, loves his, the people that he's made, and he's not willing that any perish. So, so he's hanging on for that last person, and uh, that person could be today. Um, I'm watching out every day. Do you know? Hold on. I look outside of my window and I've got a nice view of the sky. And I look and I look up to the heavens and I, I say, and Surely, Lord, you will come now. Surely now, Lord, you won't leave us any longer. And... Um, I've got a good view from my window. I can see the heavens above, and, and uh, I've seen myself. Well, in, in it, I experience myself going up in a dream, in a rapture dream. Um, it was night time, and we were all stood outside. I don't know, me and loads of people. Well. I'd say about 20 people, and we were just uh, look, looking out. Uh, it was dark, and right, right there on the on the horizon, um, well, this something bright came down from the sky. Some something bright, shining uh, so brightly that it that it hit the earth in the far distance, and where we were standing here, the the earth started to shake with whatever it was that uh, hit the floor. Well, that's, that's one dream. And I, 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 just, re I just seem to remember um, suddenly being okay. And, and that's all I can remember of that dream. But another dream I've had where I've been chased, being chased by wicked men who were, I believe were trying to kill me or capture me or something. And, uh, they started to catch up with me. It was across some land, across some land uh, with some bushes, trees, running, running fast as I could to get away from these wicked men. But they started to catch up with me and as they caught up with me, they are just, just about to grab hold of me like this and, 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 then, and then, boosh, I ascended up into the air perhaps about a hundred feet, perhaps about a hundred feet um, above in the air and I, and, I just, and I just hovered, I just hovered above watching these wicked men down below searching for me. So I, uh, I was just looking, think, looking at them and thinking, wow, I, I could see them looking in bushes and looking all, turning all around, thinking, where's he gone? And then all of a sudden, I just went up, and I started to go up and up and up, and I, I could see clouds passing me on the left and clouds passing me on the right, and I started to go further and further. And I, I was wondering where the where I was going like this in the dream, and I was all alone. I didn't see anybody else uh, being raptured, um, but but I was, and I kept going up, and I started to get a bit fearful to be honest because I was entering entering some somewhere new that I'd never been before and uh, 
you know, it's a, I was a bit, I won't, I won't say worried, but I was just a bit amazed and uh, a little bit fearful uh, as, I, as, I, as I was wondering where, where I'm going. Kept, kept going up and then I suddenly I, I woke up and uh, it just left me with such a lovely feeling and such, um, such uh, joy, really. It left me feeling joyful because uh, it's God. God gave me that dream to show me that, um, you know, not to lose heart because this is real. This is in the Bible. It's going to happen. And we are smack bang in the middle of the season for it to happen right now. We really are. Um, this world, my gosh, it's, good. It's, it's in for a rude awakening. That's what I'm sorry to say. I'm not happy to say that. I'm not happy to say that the world's in for a rude awakening, but it is. It is. Um, you know, the majority of people have turned their backs on the living God. So, if, you, if you're one of those people who are not saved, seek the Lord while he may be found, and call upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts and let him return unto the Lord and unto our God for he will abundantly pardon. So, so if you haven't already laid hold of your salvation at this very late hour, please do so now. Jesus Christ is about to come. This world is about to witness a great vanishing and then the world governments are going to say that we were beamed up, abducted by aliens. I don't know what reason they're going to say we, we were abducted, but um, all those Christians were abducted because, uh, because they believe lies. So they were abducted to another, another world where they will be corrected for believing. You know, it's just my imagination. It's something that's very, very, very likely, very, very likely to happen. Um, this could be the strong delusion that God shall send them, strong delusion that they should believe a lie, that they might all be damned, which believed not the truth, but had pleasure in unrighteousness. That truth is Jesus Christ, the only way, truth and life, everlasting life. All of the paths lead down to hell. So please lay hold of your salvation. Believe the gospel. It only takes one little mustard seed faith for you to believe. Believe for yourself and and say, yes, I believe Jesus died on that cross for all my sin. Yes, I believe in my heart that he was raised to life on the third day. Come into my life, Lord Jesus, and you'll be saved. And you realize that's the best and most important decision you ever made. Because your eternity de depends on that decision to accept or reject the free gift of God everlasting life through Jesus Christ. Unfortunately, there's a lot of false preachers out there who say you've got to work to maintain your salvation. Don't listen to anybody who says that you can lose your salvation. It's absolutely ridiculous. But there are many who can who say that. Uh, stick to grace, grace preachers, grace teachers. Um, guys, I'm going to get off because otherwise, otherwise the video, the video won't upload. So I'll have to get off. Oh yeah. So uh, please pray, please pray for my device because every time I upload videos, um, I get my videos get attacked. Um, and it, like yesterday, I did that video in the morning for you, and all day long. Um, I was having trouble uploading it. Even though I've got storage space, everything, so I knew it's an attack. And um, it's not happening with this one. In the name of Jesus, Lord, you'll cause this video to upload with haste. 
in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. And I pray that it will be a blessing to everyone. In the name of Jesus. If they're still with me, Lord, it's going to be a blessing anyway to all who see it, all who hear the words of truth from, from, your, from your word, Lord. I pray you will be glorified and this video will be protected. My device will be protected in the name of Jesus. And I pray for everyone, everyone watching, that you be blessed indeed richly and abundantly adding no sorrow with it and i pray the lord god maker of heaven and earth he'll make his face shine upon you all and he'll be gracious unto you and he will lift up his countenance upon you and he'll give you his peace in jesus name and i just pray if you are somebody watching this who hasn't been saved I pray in Jesus' name, Father, that they would believe and recognize that we are in the, the last time, the last moments, the last moments, the final moments of the end of the age. Um, the church is not appointed for God's wrath, nor for the tribulation. We must be removed before the Antichrist comes on the world stage. And if you study scripture and um, compare scripture with scripture, you'll realize that's the truth. We must be removed. And I bet the Antichrist can't wait for us Christians to be taken out of the world. Because then, and only then, will he be able to say, I am the Messiah. I am the Savior of the world. Only then will he be able to implement the beast system mark of the beast um, technology high technology probably which we don't know about that's probably what it is maybe it's something like a quantum dot tattoo or maybe it's a, a, a culmination of things you know uh, maybe well, I won't say it maybe it's a collection of a few things I don't know but um, one thing I do know, which the Lord showed me, he showed me that those who take the mark of the beast during the tribulation, they will be, they, they will be convinced that this Antichrist man is the Christ, the saviour of the world. They will be convinced of that and uh, they will know specifically that it's his mark. And it comes from him. So, uh, so there you go. That's the truth which the Lord revealed to me. They will know that it's his mark. I don't know how he will introduce it. He will say something like, here's my mark. Take my mark and you will live longer. Or you will live forever. Uh, something, something like that. Um, take my mark and you no, no longer have any more diseases or illnesses um, it will restore your youth I don't know other things like this and, uh, and then you'll be able to go into all the shops and buy you know so anyway guys I'm going to get off uh, because otherwise this video like I say take ages to upload so god bless you i love you all very much look up because jesus christ is coming i love you all i love you all we're going out on saturday and sunday if we are still here and it's very likely that we won't be but if we're still here me and loretta going out saturday and sunday um i don't know exactly where yet because uh, it'll just depend on uh funds and uh and weather as well so if because going to some of these larger cities that were further away um the train tickets are a rip-off really they they've boosted up the price of the train tickets and um just to get to york uh, to get to middlesbrough from york tickets were at 90 pounds can you believe it for two, for two people though, but still, 
90 pounds for uh, a half a 45 minute journey. It's a lot of blooming money. So, anyway, we'll go wherever we can. If we haven't got enough, we will, we'll have to go to the seaside towns, which I don't mind doing. I'll, I'll, we'll go to one of these seaside towns again. But one thing is for sure, and I, I will be preaching, even if that speaker packs in, I'm going to be standing in the street shouting. So, <laughs> God bless you guys, because the time is at hand. Jesus is coming, and then this world... The horror that's coming after the rapture is unspeakable. So, God bless you guys. I love you all. Remember, remember God answers prayers. I just pray he blesses you richly and abundantly in Jesus' name. Remember, the greater, greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. And you have all power over the enemy. And the birds agree. They know. They know that you have all power over the enemy. And that the wicked spirits are in subjection to you by Jesus Christ. So, hallelujah. Come Lord Jesus. Maranatha. I love you guys. Jesus loves you more. Bye for now.